hello everyone welcome back to my channel i'm your host mrs kk and this is the wave it is your weekly show that looks at topics related to personal family and business finances and really all you're hoping is that by the time we get to the end of this conversations you are really better equipped to make sound financial decisions so if you're new here welcome and if you're already a returning subscriber an awesome appreciation so a year ago so i did a video on cost consideration when renting and other factors to look at before deciding the rental place to go for and this in this video i want to look at three things i personally looked in my last rental contract that shocked me and here are some of the things that you can look before negotiating your next rental uh, contract the thing is with rental agreement it's always good to um to look at these things so that when you leave that rental place you at least are secured to get your deposit and you don't have to clash with the landlord yo i had a horrible experience with my previous landlord you know she ended up insulting us when we we're trying to move her despite having given a, a, like an appropriate notice he just you know changed on us called miss chippet didn't bring my rental deposit but a whole bunch of other things but you know what for the sake of peace i've just started to move on but i decided i'm going to look critically at my next rental agreement before i sign so that i can avoid some of these things so the first thing i looked at is escalation clause this is how much will your rent go by every year go up by every single year so my current rental agreement had about a 10 percent increase and i said i wasn't gonna have it i emailed the agent that was doing the rental agreement and i told them i can't do a 10 percent escalation um close inflation is in 10 percent. my salary doesn't go up by 10 percent. so i asked them to please remove the 10 percent and put in something more reasonable ideally linked to cpi which is inflation so that i know whatever i'm paying is a fair reflection of my cost Number two is my notice period. Um, I make sure that they are clear with regards to my notice period, especially the fact that they wanted me to give two months notice and still look for a, a replacement tenant. If I don't look for a replacement tenant, apparently I must pay six months worth of rent or something ridiculous like that. So please look at your um, notice period and also what your responsibilities are around that notice period so you don't end up taking a responsibility of an estate agent when you are um, exiting that rental agreement and lastly is just in terms of inspection make sure that you and the landlord at least agree or the agent that is handling the agreement agree when to do the inspection so when i moved in you know the agent didn't come do the inspection and after a week or so i just decided to send her a list of things that i felt like are broken in the place because it's also this ambiguity when you want to move out then they start saying oh but this step was leaking this step was doing that and make sure that you get them to fix everything that you're not comfortable with or if it's broken and it cannot be repaired um tell them that they need to attend to it or need to note it in an email or via text so that you have proof that you've communicated these things and you don't end up paying um for those things the last thing that i would have loved to maybe you know uh, discuss with my current rental place it perhaps the stove situation it was a good idea to have a gas stove but now i can't make anything in the oven because the oven doesn't look like it's working so things like that i could have inspected the oven and and checked whether it was a dull breaker that the oven isn't working but that stove on top works but for me to make baked potato and, and the likes um isn't at the moment happening so i need to get an air fryer to make up for the fact that there isn't an oven so these are some of the things that i really just wanted to highlight so if you are negotiating your next rental agreement please look at some of the sneaky clauses that they put in and make sure that you are not tripping yourself because at the end the relationship with the landlord isn't always the best and you might not get back your rental deposit because that seems to be the thing that they sort of have leverage on before you move out of the place so this is all i had in this quick video until next time it is goodbye and please consider subscribing if this is the type of content you find value in. Goodbye.